Hey friends, I'm so excited you guys because I have a few new fall Dollar Tree finds for you that I couldn't wait to show you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Melissa. I love to bring you guys high-end budget decor DIYs as well as hauls every single week. This is totally impromptu, as you can tell by no makeup. I'm actually in the middle of filming and we went to Dollar Tree last night. I want to use some of this stuff, but I want to show you guys like when I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, they are seriously like getting really good they're really paying attention they're really they're really getting good period so anyway you guys let's not waste any time i'm sorry it is gonna be 86 degrees today it's 84 and i am pregnant so i definitely need to keep my air on hopefully it's not like too bad of a noise in the background but I don't want to die out here. So anyway, let's hop right in. Um, I'm not going to waste any time. I don't want to make this a really long haul because I just want to throw it up on YouTube, make a thumbnail and be done because I have a zillion other things to do. Friends, I'm going to put a little disclaimer in the beginning of this video. So when I had originally filmed this haul, I did not have this other stuff that I'm going to show you after the first part of this video. So I initially say that I wanted this to be a quick haul, but here I am. I found more items and I wanted to include it in this video. So if you guys don't like hauls, if you don't like chit chat type of videos, that's totally fine. I get it. I have so many DIY videos that I know you'll love. So check those out. Skip this one and check me out on my DIYs next time. So anyway let's jump in the second half of the video will be filmed right here so i'll see you guys in a minute um so let's just roll with it y'all all right so the first item is look you guys they're doing this leather thing and i think it's because everybody like freaked out about the leather vinyl so now they're like bringing all the leather stuff out so i picked up an orange faux leather pumpkin they're pretty good size too. An orange one I picked up. I there were there were three different there were three different colors. Um and I picked up the brown and the orange. These are also new mushrooms. They had several different colors. They're just like foam but they look super realistic. I don't even know what I would use these for. That's why I didn't pick up any other ones, but like the natural color ones, because I guess you could put on, I don't know, fairy gardens. I'm not sure what, like, I don't know. You guys can let me know. Nothing like major comes to mind when I see mushrooms, but I know you guys have amazing minds as well. So let me know what you guys come up with when you see that. And then these have always been around. These are the little pumpkins on the like stand and it's got that like 3D embellishment. But they did have new ones. I don't believe this one is new. You guys can let me know. But I use these all the time. So I definitely picked um, them up to redo them, but these two I have never seen before. Look at this one. It says, welcome friends, and it's got a little um, jar on it, and it's blue, that's different. And then this one says, hello pumpkin, it's got the little pumpkin. Now again, I don't really like I mean, I thought this was cute, but it, it definitely doesn't suit my decor. So these are definitely gonna get a makeover. And then, y'all, oh, I have literally a whole bag of pumpkins. <laughs> so let's do this. All right, there we go. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at these. Look at these. Thankful and blessed. And they're leather words. Oh shoot. Blessed and grateful in this one. Blessed and grateful. Two of each. And this one says blessed and thankful. I didn't even notice that. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me? Y'all, Dollar Tree impresses me more and more every time I go in there. They are also doing the leather pumpkins and the little tiny pumpkins. Oh, I remember the other color. The other color that they had in the leather pumpkins were gray. But for fall, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. My brain is like a battlefield. <laughs> My brain is like a battlefield, and it, it, I don't even know. But anyway, there is the brown and the orange to match these. So they had gray little ones and a gray big one. And then they also had the bigger, are you kidding me? The bigger clip leather pumpkins, like Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. You're really doing it big, ain't you? <laughs> so, I picked up one pack of each of those. I think one, maybe two. I don't know. I was just grabbing you guys because my husband was outside waiting for me. And I always feel bad. Like, he literally would probably sit there for, like, four hours and not say a word. But, like, I'm just, like, consciously, I also try to respect that he's sitting in his truck waiting for me. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm a huge, huge empath. Like it's really hard for me even to go into like public places because I pick up on everybody's energy and I'm just like, Oh my God, I got to get out of here. <laughs> you know? Anyway. All right. So y'all, this is my favorite item I found. I just can't even, can I can't, I can't. Do y'all see that? Now I know they have bigger sweater pumpkins, so it's probably not that big of a deal. I'm probably like making a big deal out of it, but I don't know, I get excited about stuff like this. It's the little things in life, you guys. Like, look at that. They got the colors down. They got the sweater down, the stem. Like, I'm just very, very impressed. Very much so. Like, wow. Sweater pumpkins mini at Dollar Tree. They're just so cute, aren't they? Like, anyway. So I picked up two packs of each, except for the blue. Even though the blue is absolutely gorgeous, I just don't decorate with blue very much. If you guys wanna see me do a fall video with like navy blues and blues and um, like that color scheme, let me know down in the comments because you guys know, I used to not wanna step out of my comfort zone at all. But now, like, I enjoy it. I like when you guys challenge me because I do stuff I never would have done before. And I love it. So, anyway. Okay. And then we're getting down in the wire here, y'all. This ain't going to be a long haul, I told you. Bear with me, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now... These are new. I've never seen them. Now, obviously, it's the same clip pumpkin, but the color scheme, I mean. 
These are not the easiest to hold up for you guys. Look at those like muted toned down colors. Like this, these are like my favorite for fall. I like the muted toned down like watercolory look, I guess. I don't really know. And even this one, I couldn't hold it up. So these, <clears throat> I think there were a few more colors too. I did not pick up all of them just because I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So I will pop up a picture so you guys can see. Because if you guys are not following me on TikTok and Instagram, I always post my hauls there first. It's a quicker one minute version. It's like sh I take you guys along shopping with me. Like I hold the camera up to the item and we put it in the cart. Like sometimes I do a few little tricks, you know, snap and it's in the cart like stuff. But anyway, long story short, if you guys want to see this stuff before it hits YouTube, because YouTube takes a little bit longer, you have to film, you have to, it, anyway, it takes a little bit longer. So if you guys want to see this stuff before it hits YouTube, Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at all things crafty too, all one word. Um, and yeah, it's fun over there. I go on my stories. I'm a little bit more like you guys get to see into my personal everyday life. I'm literally on my Instagram stories every single day. And I post a reel to my Instagram, TikTok, and my Facebook reels at least three to four times per week, if not every day, if I can do it. So anyway, that was a little shameless plug, whatever. But it's fun over there, you guys. I, I get to be myself. I get to show you more of me and into my everyday life than just a video of my hands showing you how to DIY. So anyway, I thought these were cool. I'll pop that up on the screen for you guys. And the last of the clip pumpkins that I picked up, I believe they had these last year, or maybe I'm just remem maybe I'm just remembering the bigger. I know they had the bigger velvet pumpkins, but I can't remember if they had the small clip ones. Let me know down in the comments. Um, I can't remember, but I do believe there were other colors of these too. I just picked up the orange and the green because those are the colors that I will use in my decor. Um, and I only picked up one pack each of those. And then last but not least, you guys, I know I'm like giving it away before I even pull them out and show you guys, are these natural pumpkin picks. <gasps> oh, y'all. For a dollar twenty-five, and they're good size too. Like they're not small. I really love the white. You could paint that a different color. It's got a little stick for a stem. Kind of looks like an apple too. You could paint it red and like have. I don't know. And it looks like the um, braiding is different. So on this like natural color it's an actual like braid and then this these two it's like a different material it's like raffia they're more of like a um, twist almost i don't even know how to explain it but you guys get what i'm saying so i thought those were super cool so i think that is it you guys Okay, y'all, per usual, I said that it would be a short haul, and then I found more stuff that I could not wait to show you guys. So, it is a gorgeous day out. I'm on my front porch. It's a little sunny, so I didn't want to, like, be squinting the whole time. So, hopefully, that little breeze will not bother your ears, but I have my little Izzy on her monitor. She's taking a nap. I have my water, I have my ketones, and I have my Dollar Tree items. So let me show you guys what else I found. So 
So along the lines of the pumpkins. Now the other store did not have these burlap pumpkins. I only found one color and my stores are just putting stuff out like little by little. It's driving me nuts. So anyway, I picked up those little burlap pumpkins. Aren't they so adorable? Okay, so the next item that I found that the other store did not have were... Oh my gosh. So I believe... Now, don't quote me. I don't know. I'm not an expert or anything. But you know how they do like the small and the big thing. So I only found... Whoops. I only found the, well, y'all know the colors I found in the smaller ones, in the smaller sweater pumpkins. So I believe that they have these other colors. Um, I just couldn't find them. So be on the lookout. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but I don't know. Dollar Tree likes to do that big and little thing, like I said. So what I found of the big sweater pumpkins was the orange the green the gray pink cream and blue and I just love them so much so 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 much I love them dollar 25 I think that's an amazing an amazing deal okay guys along the lines of pumpkins I found these little candle holder stand things whatever you want to call it now i feel like i saw these last year i don't know let me know down below but i feel like i saw these last year however i personally didn't have any and there was an orange the white and the green but i just picked up the green just one and then these are new i've never seen these before so they are the chalkboard ornaments and they're so stinking cute and I didn't even realize when I picked these up that there's two different shapes. I'm kind of mad that I got two of this shape <laughs> instead of two of this shape. I just personally like this shape a lot better, but that's okay. I'll be on the lookout for more. So I picked up three all together. So definitely look through them. Look at the different shapes. And then y'all, I have seen other people haul these, but I could not find them. I finally found them and I absolutely love them. They're even better in person than I thought that they would be. And they're these little, little decor signs, but they are that like, watercolor image and I personally just love the look of that so I, I'm not going to do anything to these these I will just decorate with as is but you can let me know would you decorate as is or would you spruce these up a little bit let me know okay moving on to this decor sign I love that look at it I love that background now I would probably cut this home piece off or at least like maybe paint it a different color or something but my idea was to cut it off and like add my own wording but it still is actually super cute as is so I don't know again let me know what you guys would do with this leave it as is or give it a makeover so once again, more pumpkins, but I have never ever seen this style before. So Dollar Tree always does like the pumpkins on the stakes. However, I've never seen this galvanized uh, pumpkin before with the sign in the middle. That sign is actually like an add on with the little details and stuff. And then there also was a different pattern. So one said grateful, the other one said thankful. Or I should say same pattern, different wording. Ah, it's getting so hard to bend over, y'all. <laughs> 
I went to the doctors yesterday and I am 30 weeks or I'll be 30 weeks by the time you guys see this, I should say. And the baby should be anywhere from like two and a half to three pounds. This boy is literally three pounds, 14 ounces. So he's going to be a big boy, which they're just measurements, but anyway. Okay. So the next item that I picked up were these little skeletons. Now, I don't know if they had these last year. I never personally saw them. So you guys, per usual, can let me know. But look at these. And then... Isn't he cool? So he's motion activated. had him on yesterday Isabella was playing with him and he went on and on and on and on when she wasn't even touching or going in front of him so I don't know how great the motion works but you might have to like pull something I don't know I'll have to take it out of the package and see but I got four of these to be able to um do Halloween DIYs so stay tuned for that and then now we're now we really are getting down to the wire y'all so bear with me so I found new rub on transfers once again anything that I haul anything that I show you guys just know that I personally have never seen them before I try to pick up new items that I've never seen because then I feel like okay well if I've never seen them I'm sure many other people have never seen them so just keep that in mind so anyway this is the first one I found. they did that they really did that i love that again with the watercolor type of image and then the next one that i picked up this is more of like a funsy cutesy type of transfer got like the little cats and the yeah these remind me of like a cartoon or like cutesy so I'll probably give these to my daughter and then the last one I found I love this one is just kind of like spooky scary images so they're getting me really excited for halloween decor which will be coming soon stay tuned for that and then the last and then the last three items that i picked up these are pretty much the same thing, just different sayings. I've never, ever seen these before. So this one says, home is where your story begins. And it's on the little stand. And that galvanized home piece does screw off. So I was thinking, like, these would be really good for Christmas and stuff. Um, but then this one says, follow your dreams. The dreams comes off. And they're really nice, solid pieces. I mean, I really like them. So I picked up one of each. I'll probably pick up more if I can find them. And then these I really have never seen before. However, they were giving me fall vibes. Uh-oh, I lost the little... Sorry, guys. The neighbor kids are out here playing. They're so cute. talking about anyway look at these little containers I lost one of the handles which it's only a little bead but they were giving me fall vibes so I was thinking of maybe showing you guys how to make cool little candles for fun little gifts or you know stuff like that so let me know they'd be really cute on tiered trays as well 
to open up and have you a little candle in your tiered tray or something. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I would be happy, happy to bring that to you. So I just got one of each of those. There was a silver one as well, but I only picked up the gold and the bronze or the gold and the copper. Yeah, bronze. <laughs> the gold and the bronze, y'all. The gold and the copper. And then, last but not least, for real this time, I found these new little jars. Now, Dollar Tree does these jars with the cork all the time, but I personally have never seen the jar with the tree and the, the tree of life and the burlap ribbon. So, guys can let me know if you've seen those in your stores let me know down in the comments which was your favorite item and i am gonna hop off here edit this for you guys so i can get it up i'm so excited i think halloween diys are gonna be my next diy video so let me know if you're excited for that don't quote me on that because sometimes i don't really know what i'm doing until i get out there you know but Anyway, I'm going to let my yesterday self close it out. So thanks for joining me, y'all. Thanks for bearing with me. And I love y'all. I love you guys so much. I'm going to get back to work because fall is in full effect around here. And I don't have time to be out here as much as I want to. I want to be out here every day. Like this is my literal happy place. I literally turn my music on. I drink my ketones. I dance while I'm filming. Like this is literally my happy place. I am so thankful for it. You guys just don't know. Like I get comments all the time. Like, oh, it must be nice. It must be nice to have that shed. Like, oh my God, it must be nice. And I'm just like, dude, I busted my ass for this shed. What are you talking about? Not only did I bust my ass for this shed, but I am so thankful for my shed. Like every time I come out here, I say, oh my God, I'm so grateful to have this. Like everything I have, every day I wake up, every, like I'm just a grateful person because of the past that I lived. You guys know I'm eight years in recovery. I was a heroin addict and everything my husband and I have, we worked our butts off for. So it's easy to look at someone's life and think like, oh, I wish or must be nice or whatever. But it's like, I struggled just like most people do. And, and I worked to bring myself up out of that struggle. And anybody is capable of doing that. You just have to put forth the effort and work towards it. So anyway. Now I've really been rambling way too long. I love you guys so much. I'm going to leave my crazy life story in the cards in the right hand corner. If you guys want to check that out. If you have not seen that. Um, I love you guys so much with all my heart and soul. You guys can now text me. I'm sorry I didn't put it on the screen the other day. At 302-204-0885. You can text me for any reason just to say hey or if you want ketone info on how I recently lost 60 pounds, gained all my confidence back, like I literally am a new person. If you guys have been around for a year or better, then you guys have literally seen the change. So I can help you guys do the same thing. Just text me the word ketones or if you guys want any info on the Chalk Couture discount, how you guys can get the transfers, the paste, everything on the site for the same price that I do, 40% off. Um, let me know. Text me the word Chalk Couture. Again, my number is 302-204-0881. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me during this haul and the ramble, but I love chatting with you guys. I really do. I don't get to do it much. So anyway, love you guys. Hope you guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't ever forget it that you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy. You are gorgeous and you literally can do anything you set your mind to. Don't forget it. Love y'all. See you in my DIY video.
I don't know when this will be up, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't forget to do all the YouTube -y things. Thumbs up, subscribe, share. Love y'all. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.